Now we're on to M10, and M10 is an extremely simple block. We've got nine squares with alternating fabrics. So the only trick to this is, well, alternating the fabrics, but you're also going to um, alternate the basting as well. And what that means is on one color, you're going to do one side first and then the other side, and you're going to do the opposite on this color. So if you do the sides first and then the top and bottom on the brown or the focus fabric, then you would do the top and bottom and then the sides on the background or so on and so forth. That way you're going to have the least amount of layers between each seam so that it doesn't have as much growth and it has more accuracy so that when you get to attach the rows, it's very simple. So it's um, going to baste and make a row. So I've got my bottom row assembled, and you can see what I mean by the, um, the basting. I've basted these two sides first and then these, and then this one I did these two and then these. That's why they're on top, so the thickness isn't as much on the here. So, and these are both directional fabrics. This fabric is supposed to go this way because it's some kind of a berry, but I liked it sideways because it looks more like little angels to me. And then I've got a stripe for a background, so I'll make sure that my orientation is the same as I go through this block. And I'm going to get the middle row done now. So I got the second row assembled, and now it's a matter of attaching it to the bottom row. So I got my bottom two rows assembled, and everything's lined up like it should be. And I've got my top row basted, and this is taped so I can sew it together and then I'll finish assembly of the top row. Top row is all stitched together and assembled. Now it's time to attach it to the rest of the block. So I've attached the top row to the rest of my block and I have a completed M10 block. Thank <laughs> you.